students, for the last few days, we are going through the chapter trigonometry. And in our last class, we have started the exercise 8.1. And in 8.1, one question is left. Now, before we do that question and proceed further, let us discuss whatever we have studied. First, very first day, we come to know the meaning of the word trigonometry. The trigonometry word, a, the word came from three Greek words. That is tri, gon, and matria. Tri means three, gon means size, and matria means measurement. So if we include all these three words together, that means measurement of three sides of a triangle. Then we come to know that trigonometry relates to what type of triangle? It relates to right angle triangle. Then whether it will not relate to other triangle? Yes, it will relate to other triangle as well. Provided we have to draw a perpendicular from vertex to the base. Then after that we have studied about the six trigonometric ratios. Six trigonometric ratios. Now, if I represent Suppose this is sine, this is uh, cos, and this is tan. Please see, this is si this is sine, this is cos, this is tan. These are the three trigonometric ratios, and other three, other three, related to these three by as a reciprocal. Then how the reciprocal you see? If sine, sine reciprocal is cosec. So sine and cosec 2. Sine and cosec 2. Then if sec, then it will be cos. If cos, then sec. So these are the another two. And if it is tan, then it is cot. So this is two. Tan cot, sec, cosec, a sec cos or cosec and sine cosec. So these are the six trigonometric ratios. These are the six trigonometric ratios. That is two blue represent tan and cot, two green represent cos and sec, two black represent sine and cosec. So these are the six trigonometric ratios. After that, we got very, very important three formulae. What are these? Sine square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1. Number 2, cos x square theta minus tan square theta equal to 1. Number 3, cos x square theta minus cos square theta equal to 1. Earlier, we got how many? 6. These 3. 6 plus 3, 9. And then we have seen that from each of the three formulae, we can get another 12. So, ultimately how many? 9 plus 12 to 21 formula we got. Now let us start for today's that question number 10, that whichever is left. Exercise 8.1. Let's see. Draw a right angle triangle. Right angle at Q, P, R. Now, P, R plus Q, R equal to 25. P, Q equal to 5. P, R plus Q, R equal to 25. Now, suppose this is X. Then what will be Q, R? Then Q1 will be 25 minus X. 25 minus X. Now let's see. Now we'll use the Pythagoras theorem. According to Pythagoras theorem, PQ squared plus QR squared equal to QR squared. Now substitute the value 5 squared plus 25 minus x squared equal to 
equal to x squared. Then what is that? 25 plus 25 squared minus 2 into 25 into x plus x squared equal to x squared. Now x squared, x squared cancel. Then how much we'll get? 25 plus 625 equal to 50x. Implies 50x equal to 650. Implies what is that? x equal to 650 by 50. So 0, 0 cancel, 5 and 65 cancel, it will be 13. So x equal to 13 means PR, PR, PR equal to 13 centimeter. Therefore, and QR equal to 25 minus 13 centimeter equal to how much? 12 centimeter. Okay? So, my dear student, first of all, you draw the diagram. Then you consider one because sum of the two given. Then when sum of the two is there, you will subtract one of the one from the sum, you will get the other one. So, we got Q1. And then we have used the Pythagoras theorem. According to Pythagoras theorem, that is only two square plus b square equal to hypotenuse square. So we got then x equal to we got 13. So x is 13. If x is 30, 25 minus 30 equal to 12. So QR is 12 centimeter, PR is PR is 13 centimeter. So this is the solution of question number 10. Now State whether the following are true or false and justify your answer. The value of 10a is always less than 1. My dear student. Actually, as of now, you did not get the values of different angle measure. When you will get, then you will see that 10 is not less than 1 every time. Okay? So that's why it is false. In the next exercise, the next explanation will get that. Next, sec a equal to 12 by 5. For some values of angle A. Then let us check. Let us check once whether is it possible or not. Set A equal to 12 by 5. 12 by 5. Now, sec A is ultimately what is that? It is hypotenuse by base. 12 by 5. Now, suppose A is equal to 12K, B equal to 5k. Then p square plus b square equal to h square. Then what is that? p square is not there. 5k whole square equal to 12k whole square. Ultimately what is that? p square equal to 144k square minus 25 k square. So ultimately p equal to root of r. So how much you see? 1, 1, 9 k. Because 44 minus 25. So it is possible. So it is possible. Okay? Perpendicular departure. So it is true. Then cos a is the abbreviation of uh, used for the cosecant. No. Cos came from cosine. So it is false. Cot A is a product of cot and A. No. That is also false. That is not correct. And sine theta 
equal to 4 by 3. It is also false. Check by this method. Check by this method. Whether is it possible or not. If possible, true. If not, then it will be false. Okay? So, these are the solution of exercise 8.1. Now, we'll go to the measure of different angles. Trigonometric values of different angle measure. So, for that, we will have to draw quadrant. You got in linear equation in two variables, graph you got. So, let's see. Draw that. Now, first of all, you draw quadrant. First, second, third, fourth. Now, here it is zero, then pi by. 2, then pi, and this is twice pi by 2, and then twice pi. This is the quadrant. Okay? So, first quadrant is 90 degree, second quadrant lies between 90 and 180, third lies between 180 and 270, fourth lies between 270 and 360. Remember, my dear student, this is very, very important. Very, very important. Okay? And it has a lot of application is also there. So please draw this and keep. And you match along with your graph. If you see graph, graph also we are going this way only. Okay? So it is going anti-clockwise direction, not clockwise direction. So please draw this one. And keep. Now, this one, further of this one, we'll, go, we'll get in our next class. Further of this, we'll get in our next class. So, please go through this part. Now, see, we'll see the different values chart. One, two, three, four, and this is the number. Now, here, angle. Suppose angle is theta. And here, ratio. Now, don't write down first. Please check. See, this is zero degree. First is zero. The next is 30 degree. Now I have written pi by 2. Now pi has two values. One is numerical value. What is that? 22 by 7. And another is angle value. What is that? It is 180 degree. Okay? So, 30 degree. If I represent by pi, what it will be that? Pi by 6. If you divide 180 degree by 6, we will get 30 degree. Then 45 degree. 45 degree. Or pi by 4. Then 60 degree. Or pi by 3. 90 degree. Or pi by 2. So any one of these two ways we can represent. 30 degree, pi by 6, 180 degree by 6 go to 30 degree, so pi by 6, 45 degree, pi by 4, 180 degree by 4 equal to 45 degree. 
60 degree pi by 3, 180 degree by 3 equal to 60 degree, 90 degree pi by 2 equal to 90 degree. Is it clear? Okay. So then, see, here we'll write 1 by 1 ratio. First is sine theta. Now, sine theta, sine 0, the theta will be replaced by this method. Sine 0 is 1 or 0. Sine 0 is 0. Sine 0 is not 1. Sine 0 is 0. Sine 30 degree, half. Sine 45 degree, 1 by root 2. Sine 60 degree, root 3 by 2. And sine 90 degree is 1. So this one you remember. And remaining all, you can automatically do that. How? If we start reverse order, reverse order you know, that means from back side. If we write from reverse side, that is 1 root 3 by 2, 1 by root 2, half 0. This is the value of cos theta. So cos 0 is 1, sin 0 is 0, cos 0 is 1. Cos 30 degree root 3 by 2, just cross sin cos, sin 30 degree cos 60 degree. Uh, sin 30 degree value cos 60 degree value. Cos 30 degree value cos 60 degree sin 60 degree value. So cross, okay. Now you got already last day, tan theta is the ratio of sin theta and cos theta. So then tan theta will be what? Tan theta equal to 0. 0 by 1. Then 1 by 2 divided by root 3 by 2. See 2, 2 will be cancelled. So what will be that? 1 by root 3. Then here you see root 1 by root 2, 1 by root 2, it will be. 1. In the last exercise, you got a question. Tan theta, tan angle A is always less than 1. So you got? It is not true. Next, root 3 by 2 divided by 1 by 2. 2 to cancel. So root 3. Here you see, root 3 value is 1.732. 1.732. So which is greater than 1? Okay. And then this one is undefined because any number divided by 0 is undefined and undefined is represented by this symbol undefined is represented by this symbol okay then next <clears throat> see sine reciprocal is cosec cosec theta so infinite because once again 1 by 0 then this will be 2 this will be root 2 this will be 2 by root 3 and this will be 1 so see if you see uh, if you remember sine theta value these five angle measurement you can get all the other trigonometric ratios you can get all the other trigonometric ratios value. Clear? Then, cos reciprocal sec, sec theta, 1. See, just in reverse order, go on writing. 2 by root 3, root 2, 2, infinite. Okay? Then, which is the last one? Which is the last one? Quad theta, quad theta is the reciprocal of ten theta. So here once again, infinity, root three, one, then here it will be what? One by root three, and here it will be what? Zero. Because cos zero by one, zero by one is zero. So then one thing you can see, if you look to this chart, then one thing you can see, sine 45, 
cos 45, same value. Sin 45, cos 45, same value. Tan and cot, same value. Cos and sec. Plus sec and cos, same value. These two, two values are same. And what did I say? Sin 0 degree cos 90 degree. Sin 30 degree cos 60 degree. Sin 45 degree cos 45 degree. Sin 60 degree cos 30 degree. Sin 90 degree cos 0 degree. So, vice versa. So, better you give equal sign. Then, easy to remember. Okay? So this thing you remember, sin 0 degree, cos 90 degree, sin 30 degree, cos 60 degree, sin 45, cos 45, sin 60, cos 30, sin 90 degree, cos 0 degree. Okay? So this is the chart, is most important chart, and this very please remember, the chance of mistake will be less. And last day also I told you my dear student, please write and paste in front of your study level. Because you cannot buy heart. You have to put, when you see time and again, you can remember easily. Okay? Now I do few questions related to that. Then we'll wind up for today. Few questions. Okay? So let's see. Sign. 60 degree into 10 45 degree. 10 45 is what? 10 45 1 and sin 60 root 3. So root 3 by 2 into 1 equal to root 3 by 2. Then last day I have given a formula that is sin square delta plus cos square delta plus one. Let's see proof with that value. Sin square 30 degree plus cos square 30 degree. Now sin square 30 degree is what? Half. And cos square 30 degree is what? Root 3 by 2. So let's see. 1 by 2. Root 3 by 2. Then what is that? 1 by 4 plus 3 by 4. Then what is that? 1 plus 3 by 4 equal to 1. So proof? Sin square theta plus cos square theta equal to 1. So this is the answer. Okay? Now let's see one more. Sin 30 degree cos 90 degree sec 45 degree what is that? Half sec cos 90 degree 0 then root 2 0. This is one question, another question. So Three questions I have done. Today I will not do any more. So please, my dear student, please write down all this thing in a copy and practice this one from the exercise as much as possible. And next we will start by exercise 8.2. Till that time, bye bye. Hope you will practice again and again and you will clear your conception. Okay? Thank you. Bye bye.